the first thing that we need to do is ensure that education is a constitutional right. Every child, no matter their zip code, should have access to a quality education. And when I'm governor, if your child is trapped in a failing school, you will have a school of your choice. Let's also talk about long-term education reform and what will uh, be needed to get it done. The first thing is that we need to have high standards, which means ending high stakes, end of the year testing, and moving towards progress-based testing. It also means supporting our teachers by providing high quality professional development. We also need to pay teachers more. Teachers are not paid in a regionally competitive way, and if teachers help turn around a failing school, teachers should be bonus. They should be compensated for that. We also need to level the playing field, and what that means is that means that we must reform the school funding formula. We must account for English as second language student learners and also special education level funding is not equitable funding. The other thing we must do is we must close gaps. And that means that COVID learning loss is real and that we should take the money that was directed to help children and move it to individualized tutoring to help close gaps. We also must acknowledge that we must be flexible because one size does not fit all. We must invest in models like Davies, which is a technical training program that also is about academic excellence. Those schools uh, provide a pathway to high paying jobs. Education reform is going to take a lot of work. We need the long term solution of doing the hard work, doing the hard work that Massachusetts did when I was growing up, and allowed me to have a mechanism, and also the short term thing, which is school choice, which is what I actually exercise and which saved my future.